Hello there. Wanted to talk about the uncertainty that comes with gig work. And yes, there are slow days out there. Today would be one of those examples. It's morning and I have only done one Uber Eats order. So I'm sure that you can relate to this. And it's good to share our experiences with each other. Gig work is not always gonna be busy. You're not gonna always have those banger days making hundreds of dollars. Sometimes it's gonna be slow. And let me tell you, your emotions, anxiety, uncertainty are all gonna play a factor in how you deal with this and especially how you feel about these times. In this video, I'm gonna give some examples of why things could be slow right now. And then I'm also gonna give you some tips on how you can deal with it. My name is Russ and I make videos to help drivers like you. So welcome, I really wanna help you. So please do share in your comments below experiences that you've been having. How do you navigate these really tough times when it's slow dealing with uncertainty? Now, I have heard that times are getting tough. Grocery stores are having to change their prices several times per week. I met a gentleman today who works in the mortgage industry here in California. He said it's dead. And so he just started doing Uber Eats to make some money. And then finally, unapologetically, Mel has a YouTube channel. She's noticed a lot more people living in their cars. So these are just a few examples. No, it's not gonna prove that the world's ending, things are coming to a standstill, and everybody's struggling to get by. So what this does tell us is that orders may be less because of a couple reasons. Customers may not be ordering as much as frequently or having as high a ticket because their finances are crimped. And there could be less orders because there's more drivers like you out earning money. There's many new people coming into this space, like I mentioned the gentleman that works in the mortgage industry. And less important, the apps may be scrutinizing how they send orders to drivers. And that's definitely out of scope for this video. So moving right along, it's pretty bright out here. Our feelings are valid. You cannot control how you feel, but guaranteed you can control how you deal with those feelings. And there's no difference in the gig economy. When you feel that uncertainty, like I do sometimes, where are the orders? How am I gonna make money? Especially those that need the income full time, it's a big deal. Dealing with anxiety and that sense of uncertainty can be debilitating. What I would encourage you with is, every day is a different day. Yes, one day may be slow. Over time, if we keep having these really slow days, that's gonna be a great indicator that we should try to do something else. I've found exercise to be a really good mood lifter. So if you're dealing with uncertainty and obviously you'll have time, just get up out of your car, go for a walk, even a brisk walk. I think that's gonna help elevate your mood. No, it's not gonna make orders appear, but it'll help you deal with and manage your feelings. The next thing that you can do to deal with uncertainty is manage your workload. Hopefully you're on other apps, so have them all on. And if obviously you're not getting orders on any of them, change locations. And this is something that you'll have to use your best judgment for. Don't drive too far, but go into a different market and try to get orders there. Another thing you can do is change the times that you deliver. You know, one day may be slow, so the next day, try changing it up if it's still slow then. Deliver during peak meal times, this will be helpful. And for shopping apps, Think of when do people need groceries and then adjust your times to be available to shop in time to meet those needs. So again, food delivery, people wanna eat right away. Groceries, people wanna prepare their food. And so you're gonna see the differences in time there. Another thing you could try, if the apps that we're using right now, and I'm speaking to myself as well, maybe I need to sign up and maybe you should sign up for different types of apps. I do food delivery, grocery shopping, Amazon Flex. How about catering? Maybe catering is busy when the other apps are not. So this is something that really I need to focus on as well. And what would be my excuse? Am I just gonna keep waiting and hope for money? Or should I sign up for the catering apps and just give it a try? I know it can be challenging if it's slow, you can't just immediately get on something else that's new and make money. But if we prepare in advance, if I prepare in advance, 
then I can easily switch into another industry. So this is something that I need to do and maybe you should as well. So I'm sure you realize it's pretty obvious. You can't create something out of nothing. That's impossible. So don't be deluded by that. But you can be positive in all that you do. And that's going to show in your energy, your work ethic, and overall your mood is going to be much better. So pair that up with some exercise like I mentioned earlier. And I think you're going to notice a big difference in your energy level. Have you ever noticed that when you just work on something constantly, you get tired, but if you stop, take a break and come back, you can have a different perspective and you'll be rejuvenated to concentrate on that again and maybe differently. So break up your routine. If you notice you have a pattern when you're out doing food delivery and there's just not any orders, just change it up and use those tips that I've already mentioned to help you out. And again, that's not going to magically make orders appear. But if you change what you're doing, then you might get some different results. Because if you don't change what you're doing, then how can you expect? You're just hoping that something changes. And obviously, it's much better for you to take action and then see if results change. And you'll know that it's because you did something and not that you're just waiting around hoping that something changes. Have you noticed that when you talk about something or you share your feelings, what's going on with someone else? that in some way it really does help clarify it for you in your own mind and you do feel better afterwards. And you know, when, it's, when you're thinking of something, it's easy to just have many thoughts, but when you have to put it into words or into writing, it helps you be concise and you can really narrow down what the true issue is. So please do give your feedback in the comments below. Share your stories, both good and bad, of dealing with uncertainty, slow times during the gig economy, and how did you manage that? What did you notice as a result of that? Times aren't always going to be slow and sometimes we're going to have really great days. So in this next video, check it out because I made the most money ever doing the gig economy part-time for almost five years.